Hello there! Is your EPC light on? Or is your hard car hard to crank? Well, we have a solution, possibly for you. Maybe it could well, very well be your crank sensor, which, on a 2.5 liter Volkswagen motor, looks kind of like this. Like maybe it got flicking you off, I don't know. Or other things, maybe a spaceship coming to land. Anyway, so where is this located, you might ask? Well, it's actually super, super easy. Super easy. You take off the under tray of your car, of course, and then it is this piece right here. Yeah, let's get you set up. Get that set up. Right there. Right there. That two Allens, four millimeter Allens, they will. I already broke these loose, so let's go ahead and. Hey, guess what? Magnetic. Oh, it's all oily. No. Um. Anyway, let's put that right there. I will simply undo these. Undo that one. There we go. There we go. Undo that one. Undo that one. There you go. Crank sensor is out. Now we just need to make it come off there, like that, and then follow the cable despite loud noises because they're beating rotors off. Get this out of here. There. So, get that unplugged, which I need a little help for this to get it unplugged. Pocket screwdrivers are the greatest as I kick the camera stand. I apologize for that. I am the worst cameraman ever. Ah, ta-da, off. Let's plug our new one in. I don't know why I'm walking all the way over here, because it's right here. No plug. No plug, so we just plug that back in up there. Uh, 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 uh. Careful, 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 careful. Oh yeah, I should have told you it needed to be jumped, sorry. Then, back down over here. Boop. Right there. These come with the bolts already in it, which is lovely because trying to fish bolts up there, it looks like he could be very pain in the butt. Very pain in the butt. So then I'll just do that up in there like so. Get one started. Try not to get my hands in the way. But I also want to make sure the bolts go in straight, because that is very important. Shockingly, who would have thought bolts going in straight is important? And that. There. So, I mean, you get the point of where it is. So now we'll just go ahead and tighten it up. Remember, these are tiny little 4 millimeter Allen bolts. You don't have to kill them. You don't have to kill them. You do want to make sure that they're in there good. But you don't have to kill them. Nice and tight. German tightness of gut and tight. And then lastly, let us transfer over the simple hold down tools. Which, if you can't figure out how to get the clip off of the old wire, I can't help you. So, we got the clip off the old wire. We'll go ahead and wrap it around the new one. Like so. We got that one there. And then we got one more to move over. Pop that off. Pop that on here. Let's see, this will go on like this. Pop this on here and then attach that there. And there you go. You have now replaced your crank sensor on your 2.5 liter Volkswagen motor. So, uh, if you don't have a scanner, head down to a place such as uh, AutoZone or I don't care, wherever you can get this done. Get them to clear out your check engine light, but this will help you start the car immediately. If you are having problems with it starting, you don't need to clear the codes to get it to fix itself in that regard. The check engine light may stay on, but it will change from a hard fault to intermittent and you will be able to start the car and you should lose your EPC light and things like that and it will go out and act normally. 
So, if you have any questions about this lovely repair, please don't ask, uh, you can ask questions. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, share it with friends if they need help. Or just generally do that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. If you would like to see more, I do stream live on YouTube and all sorts of fancy places like that. Have a good time. Because this is what I work out of every day. So here's all my symmetric sockets.